After an uneventful first half, Palace took the lead early in the second. John Solarco's cross skimmed off the head of Des Walker in the Forest defence, and Ian Wright volleyed home. Two good saves by the Forest keeper, Mark Crossley, then stopped the visitors going further ahead. While at the other end, Nigel Clough saw an effort pushed on to the crossbar. With a quarter of an hour of normal time left, Forest were level. Terry Wilson's shot, taking a deflection into the net. In extra time, it was all Forest. Fullback Stuart Pearce started a move involving Nigel Clough and then Steve Hodge before shooting home superbly to make it 2-1. Roy Keane thought he'd made it 3-1, but his goal was disallowed for an earlier foul on Steve Hodge. And with just seconds of extra time remaining, it was Keane's back pass which forced Crossley out of his goal, and John Solarco saw an opportunity from 45 yards. We felt we'd just got it. But, as you well know, You've got nothing until the final whistle. The two sides. Gary Parker almost opened the scoring for Forrest, but his free kick was saved by the Newcastle keeper, John Burridge. Forrest did open the scoring, though, ten minutes before half-time. Steve Chettles, long pass, finds Steve Hodge. His header puts Nigel Clough clear to score. And still Clough. Forrest almost made it two soon afterwards. Steve Hodge with a shot just too high. It wasn't until late in the second half, though, that Forrest were able to get another goal. Roy Keane regains possession, and this time Hodge does make it 2-0. Beautiful finish. Superb finish by Steve Hodge. As Newcastle pressed forward, hoping to get back into the match, Forrest were able to counter-attack. Nigel Clough's delightful pass set up the third Forrest goal. Gary Crosby laying it on for Gary Parker to complete the win. Parker is coming square, and that's it.